we're at River Horse Brewery in Lambertville, New Jersey with one of the brewers, Chris McGrath, who's going to bring us through a little bit of a brewery tour. Um, you can stop by yourself uh, in the winter, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, and in the summer, Wednesday through Sunday for a self-guided tour and some tastings. So, Chris, can you bring us through the brewing process at River Horse? Mm-hmm. All right. First place we're going to start is we're going to start with grain, um, which is the, uh, the foundation of any great beer. Uh, we're running a little long now since we've grown a lot recently. But this is the grain. It's what they come in 55 pound bags. And what we'll do depending on what the recipe calls for is we'll combine the grain into this big old bin. Then shoot it upstairs into a mill. What that mill is going to do, you can't see it now, we're not going to go up there, it's really creepy. There's probably a ghost or maybe an ogre or a troll or something that lives up there. So we're not going to go up there because it's just scary. It freaks me out. I'm not going to do that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but anyway, what happens up there is the grain gets milled down. Um, and what we're trying to do is we're trying to expose the starch on the inside. So then what happens, when that gets crushed, we're going to shoot through this red tube. We're going to combine that crushed grain with hot water. And it's going to go into our root. Here what we're going to do, we're going to fill this guy up. And what's going to happen is that the grain and the hot water is going to look like oatmeal. Except it's better than oatmeal because it's from beer. Better than oatmeal any day of the week and twice on Sunday. <laughs> it's, it's delicious and it makes you feel good inside. <laughs> what happens is once we get up to the temperature we want, we're going to convert all those starches to sugars and then we're going to shoot that guy over to our laboratory, which is this vessel here. Here, what we're going to do is. We're What's that called? It's called laboratory. Okay. L A U T E R. I think it's German. Swiss or French or African, maybe <laughs> Chinese, possibly Russian or okay. American. What happens is we're going to rinse those grains with hot water and we're basically going to take about 20 barrels, between 20 and 22 barrels of that sugar water. Because remember the starch is converted to sugar here. We're going to get all that sugar water back into this kettle right here where we're going to get up to a boil, boil it for about an hour, and then we're going to add our hops, which are going to add aroma and bitterness. I personally love hops. They're delicious. They make great beer like double IPAs. Really, really bitter and smell great. And some beers don't use a lot of hops, though, it depends. for people who yeah, don't like the... IPA uses a ton of hops and beers like our lager and... How about your Belgian? Beer. Our Belgians don't use too many hops. We like to rely on the yeast and malt bill to give it that goodness. Um, so anyway, when that's all done, what we're going to do is we're going to shoot that beer. Uh, well, it's not beer yet. It's actually called wort. We're going to shoot that wort downstairs into the fermentation room where it's going to go into the uh, next step of the process. Great. All right. Okay, so now we are downstairs in the fermentation room. And Chris is going to tell us what goes on here. All right. So after that wort is boiled, um, what we do is we shoot it downstairs through these pipes and into these tanks. And in these tanks, we combine that wort with yeast. Um, the yeast cells will convert uh, that wort the sugars in the work to alcohol and CO2. Um, at that point, it becomes beer. Up to that point, it's basically just sugar water. But now, when we combine the yeast, we get beer. Um, and that's really, that's probably the nuts and bolts of it. Um, these tanks look really, they're pretty, they're shiny. What about adding carbonation? Um, Um, in certain tanks, such as this one, come closer, 
close enough. It's wet. You're not going to mess with your pretty shoes. You say, well. It's wet. No, it's okay. Though. Uh. <laughs> so what happens is in certain tanks, what we'll do, it's called bright tanks. The bright tanks, what happens is we will uh, transfer the beer. So, for example, today we transferred the triple, our Belgian triple, from tank one into our bright, bright tank. What happens here is we pop on the tube and pump CO2 into it. And actually, you can't hear it, but I can. This guy's bubbling away with CO2. I can hear it. Can you? Yep. Can you hear it on mic? I don't know. We'll find out. We're going to find out. <laughs> All you crazy, crazy listeners out there in Bucks County. <laughs> this is only what happens is we add the CO2. And then it becomes, well, it's, it's beer at this point, but now it's just carbonated beer. Perfect. Um, and then, are you going to ring us through the bottling? I could do that, if you're nice. Ready? You've been nice. I'll take you bottle. <laughs>